Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol GME. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Not sure what I mean by 30-minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Well, another very choppy day, but what stood out to me is that it actually is hanging in there, and not only is the price hanging in there, it made progress forward. Now, I get it. Like I said, today was technically a little bit of a downtrend. I mean, you had, as far as the highs are concerned, lower highs. But even if I you know, box off this entire area, the question becomes, well, where's the prior area where it was really choppy? And that was down here. So there was still progress that was made, which is keeping the chart alive. It's keeping people interested. And it's not like the chart collapsed today. You know, Had the price gone back down below 100 or something like that, okay, at that point, you could start to say, hey, it's looking like the game's over. But it didn't do that at all. In fact, it's you know been building higher bases. Ever since it hit that low on Thursday, you can see the lowest it got right there. And then today's lows are right there. And if you envision these as stair steps, you can see that once again, there's some progress being made. Is this progress the leading indicator to a bigger movement back to the upside? Well, that remains to be seen for next week. But my core point here is just because it's putting in higher lows, that doesn't guarantee anything, but it does make it at least a plausible thought to have that, hey, you know what? It's looking like maybe the, the price is getting set up for another potential big movement to the upside momentum wise. And to me, the level that a lot of people will be watching is gonna be right there at that 375 mark. So while nothing is guaranteed, my point is if it can get up there to 375 and then break above it, it's a valid thought to have that that break could very well create that much more upside buying pressure. So keep a very close eye on 375. And if it can push up through there, especially if it's a high volume break, then yeah, I don't think anybody would be necessarily shocked to see the price get up to that 470 mark. As far as areas of support are concerned, two main levels that stand out to me are going to be right there at the 255 mark. And then after 255, down there right around the 200 mark. But all in all, those are gonna be the main technical levels to watch moving forward. So let's see how this one plays out next week. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not. And I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.